Okay, that was a fantastic episode of Fiona and Kate for the first episode. I really enjoyed the, the intro. <laughs> it was sad when you like listen to the actual words, but it also sounded good. The music for like has always been good for Adventure Time. But I knew that this felt like Fiona lived in New York or something. It was coming off that way to where our apartment was set up. But, and, but the way they was waking up from their dream though, that was colored like it was in a uh, old school children's book. Also like that. and It felt like they were drowning from waking up. Because the real world, essentially, is drowning them. I think in a way. Was she really living that life struggle? Multiple, uh, getting fired multiple times so, to a degree being used to it. She really does have impulse control when she was in there. Just like, uh, but also like that. I was like, is the cat seeing magic? And it was. It's just Fiona can't uh, see it and it's connected to ice. Just like in the dream with the ice prints and basically gone through. But also like how they portrayed all the other characters like Marceline. Like them, he definitely felt like a sketchy, like on the street band kind of person. And then she dated Fr uh, the Flame, but they a DJ. And Flame Princess was a rapper, so yeah. And then LSP. <laughs> LSP. That was that was nice. And then I think her boss was the king that took over after uh, Bubblegum Princess was like voted out and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's what that's supposed to be. What else? Oh, the cat finally got teleported, but also Fiona really followed who I think is supposed to be Fern into some bushes just to see something cool. She really dreaming of the magic, so she not really thinking about thinking things through. But all in all, a fantastic first episode. You can feel that it's just like Avenger Time, just as mature can't wait to see what next episode is like though. Also like the background designs. Adventure Time has always had that good background designs.